What's up guys? So today we're going to talk a little bit about a wetland filter and I'm, I'm doing it on this project as a perfect example because this project is a 7,000 gallon pond. Normally we use biofalls filtration at the top of the waterfall for 6,000 gallons and below which is typically our small, medium, and large ponds, most large ponds. This was just slightly bigger due to the customization on it. So we wanted to use a wetland filter to make sure we get the most filtration through this pond as possible. This is a dog training facility, so we're gonna have a lot of dogs and trainers, handlers coming in and out of this pond. But we thought this would be a perfect example to go over some components of the wetland filter. Starting off, we dig down quite a bit further to put a wetland in. Now, what is a wetland? You may notice in nature on some na nature hikes and stuff, you'll see perfectly crystal clear water. What's going on there is nature is um, basically letting sediment settle to the bottom and beneficial bacteria is eating up a lot of the particles, leaf debris and other stuff that falls into the bottom. And what's coming to the surface with oxygen is perfectly cl crystal clear water. So that's what we're recreating with a wetland filter. So how do we do that? We first plumb our normal pump coming into the bottom of the wetland filter. So we dig way down here and we've got a lot of force coming through our plumbing line. We've got to slow that velocity down so that it can spread out over a wide area. And we'll talk through why in a second. But we use this centipede, which is a long black piece along the bottom to help slow that water down and just spread it all out across the bottom here. Over here to my right, we've got this vertical piece. That's our clean out uh, snorkel. So we just pull the lid off once a year, drop a clean out pump in there, and any sediment that's formed in the bottom of this gets drawn out and we flush it out and it's back to crystal clear again. Um, once the water comes in through the centipede, it goes into the aqua blocks to continue its uh, dispersion throughout this area. So this whole area is covered with aqua blocks. So you can see it's just gonna come in get really wide, slow, and eventually start to bubble up through layers of gravel. We start off with a two to three inch layer of gravel that's eight inches high. Above that, we use inch and a half to two inch gravel for eight inches, and then another eight inch layer above that uh, with three quarter inch gravel. So that's kind of the behind the scenes functions and the pieces of a wetland filter. And once that water comes in, it's all dirty from the skimmer goes through these filtration, the rocks start to collect the particles and they settle back down to the bottom, all along the bottom here and eventually wash back into the snorkel um, that we can clean out. The other piece that's critical to a wetland filter is plants. Plants help pull that sediment out of the rocks and they use that for fuel to grow for food. And um, so plants are a big part of it along with the oxygen and water flowing through and the gravel. Um, so that's how we create a wetland filter and it's just like a biofalls, just on a much larger scale. So if you want a crystal clear pond, a wetland filter, especially if you're above 6,000 gallons, a wetland filter is the perfect way to go.